It looks like Fox Factory has pretty much the best seat in the house this year in Maribor, Slovenia. That's the finished gate. And then the Fox truck is right here. So pretty prime location this year. Whatever, Schaefer. <laughs> Not a finished gate. That's the finish gate. It's not slalom. Oh, uh, what's it line. called? Finish line. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's the finish line, I guess. Not the finish gate. Duly noted. Yeah. Oh, that's a big flex. Huh. Stock going up like six S. Oh yeah, nay rolls and I'm back at it. Yeah, back at it. Yeah, back at it. Had to run a mill like a track at it. Take a crack at it. Like a crack at it. Fox is set up and ready to go. So let the puzzling begin. On Friday, that is. Puzzling will most likely start on Friday. So, yeah. <laughs> Science. <laughs> oh, happy day to school day, eh? De guessing the sparkling water. Because I've been struggling to find still water out of taps because I actually drink tap water as well. <laughs> I'm just having, having a bad day. <laughs> and it's 30 degrees. And it's hot. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. And it's only like 9, 9.20 in the morning. And so come like 3 or 4 o'clock today, it's going to be so hot. It's pretty warm today. I like it. Like, you just don't have to think that much. You don't have to wear shoes. Oh, yeah, you have to wear shoes because that's the law. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like you don't have to plan your layers and raincoats and all that. It's just like it's just hot. Oh, that fixed it all. We're just kind of setting everything up, organizing everything, trying to get it all sorted so tomorrow morning we can start a productive work day. Got one question from Greg. Hi, well, Greg. <laughs> he asked, uh, "Are there multiple Fox trucks around Europe that support different events?" Where's home base for the Fox trucks and who's responsible for the logistics of moving the entire setup to all the events? So yeah. All of this comes down to me. <laughs> no, we got the big setup, obviously. The home of both setups is FGG, which is Fox Germany. And there's a little setup, which is basically a crafter and a tent. It's used for standalone XCs like Alpstadt, Novo Mesto, and was used for some EWSs. Um, but since the schedule is almost back to back, we try to sort it all with the big one and go from downhill to EWS uh, as long as it's doable and just keep the team together and yeah, go from each to the next one. Uh, and then Rowan asked, how do you... How Hi, do you Rowan team trucks get over to Snowshoe for the World's Cup rounds there? Well, the UCI have organized a ship. Uh, they like inflate the tires a bunch and they just float them over. It takes a long time. <laughs> and sail over to America and then get them off the boat and drive to Snowshoe. That would be awesome. No. <laughs> uh, the American guys have uh, a truck in America and they're going to sort all the stuff out. So, Zach asked, does a bike suspension curve affect your suspension setup tweak recommendations? Does, is there like a large element of that that happens like in your race, race shot? Wise, we try to plan, like we take a snapshot of what people are riding and then make a broad guess with trail bike, coil, trail bike, air, downhill bike, coil, downhill bike, air. And then, if necessary, we tune them from there. Gotcha. So by the time it gets to the World Cup here, that's not really even a... Oh, by now, yeah. But like maybe the first race, it's not sorted out. Or test camp, it's definitely not sorted out. Some people stick with that because it's pretty close usually. And almost every downhill bike is a 250... 75 shock or a 225 75 and they're all right around 200 mils of travel so there's not a ton of variation so you can get pretty close guessing and then tweak it a little bit
We got a bunch of people stoked in the comments to see in the video, but one guy had a question for you. He said that you're a miracle. Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Basically, the gist of his of his question is like, you do so much, you manage a race team, race yourself, upload videos, care for dogs, <laughs> win hardline, etc. Um, where do you get energy from to, to keep up with all those where things? Where do I get energy from? Um, I don't know. <laughs> if I'm honest, some days I'm over it. Rarely. Most I'm pretty stoked. I don't know. It's a good vibe. Pivot. Give me good energy. The team. We've got a lot of happy people. I don't know. I think my mum worked really, really hard before getting me to this point and maybe that motivates you and you just want to... I don't know, harder the work, maybe the more fun you have, I don't know. Some days now I'm like, well, I am doing quite a lot, but I've never really thought about it before until you get like nice comments like this and people kind of tell you you're doing a lot. It's hard to like realize you are if you are, I think. I don't know, just mm -hmm. loving it. <laughs> How's it feeling around here compared to last year? Right, I was ragging it out so much last year because <laughs> it was gray and wet and cold. And I was like, so my last memories of Maribor weren't that favorable but now it's really good so i'm loving it yeah i've only we've only ever come to maribor when it's gray and cold because like la the last really? time i was here was april and it was gray and cold and then we we're here in october and it was horrible and now we're here in august and it's lovely as i as, I, as i'm cleaning my helmet all the mud out of it <laughs> Um, I wasn't actually here last year, man. Oh, you weren't? No, no. So oh, okay. I did my ACL last at uh, the beginning of last winter, the like delayed start of the season. We kind of got into a bit of skiing, and skiing bit back. And yeah, I did my ACL. So had the year off last year with rehab, recovery, surgery, and um, back here this year. But this year it seems sick. Like uh, uh, the weather's meant. Track looks like it's going to be really good. Um, uh, all the boys here are pumped. So I really can't complain. Nice. And I've heard they've changed quite a bit of the track. Which is cool because everyone likes that. And myself included. All in all, all good. One of the things we're wondering is like coming right off of a win after Hardline, does yeah. that change your mindset at all into the next race or do you block it out or how does that come into into play in your mindset? I think coming off a win you got more confidence. It's like we always say like Riders in the past, like our friends, like you ride the wave. So like, if you drop into the wave and you're doing good, you want to ride the wave for as long as possible. So yeah, hopefully, I'm pretty confident coming into this week. Like pretty stoked, like had a really good time there. It was super dry and it's looking, fingers crossed, to be dry this week. So yeah, just hyped to be back racing and pretty confident for it. What's the plan for the rest of the day for you guys? Uh, plan for the rest of the day is we're going to the pool. We're going to chill out this afternoon because we have been doing a lot. I've got a few emails to do few things to book but did some downhill laps this morning and yeah gonna go to the pool and then emails and barbecue at the pits later it's like such nice weather we're gonna make the most of it and probably just as a team cook at the pits every night this week yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just been such good vibes around here today like the the riding's incredible the weather's been really good other than pretty hot but everyone seems to be in super high spirits taking laps getting everything set for the week because tomorrow is when all of the action begins for track walk day Three months, 